Hi, my name is Paula Nasrallah. Um, I've been living in Dubai actually since uh, 2006. Uh, we moved from uh, Boston before coming to Dubai. The world of cancer came into my life um, uh, way before I came to Dubai. Uh, unfortunately, I lost my sister to breast cancer and that's how I became um, very aware of what breast cancer is all about. And in um, March of 2011, I was struck with breast cancer myself, uh, living here in uh, Dubai. And um, I went through the entire journey here. I got my surgery, I got my, uh, you know, all my medical treatment, my chemo, and actually the uh, cancer center in Abu Dhabi. And um, that was the beginning of my my personal journey with cancer. Um, I caught it because, you know, my sister had had it. Thank God it was early stages. And um, it was, I mean, definitely it was not an easy journey with, you know, the chemo, the, the personal appearances, um, you know, all the things that I had to uh, endure. But I feel, you know, that was my kind of my fate that I went through it because it kind of um, woke me up and made me so aware that I was really lucky that I got it so early and I'm here that I can help others. Um, Friends of Cancer patients came into my life during that period when I was battling cancer and I got to see through their eyes what they do for their patients which just encouraged me and made me even stronger that I need to have a voice, I need to uh, make my story live and make people understand that I know what they're feeling and I started my journey also with Friends of Cancer patients. Um, I really recommend to all the patients out there, early detection is the, uh, the first thing, not to be scared, to really go out there, I mean, uh, and get themselves tested, uh, the self-checks at home, um, and, you know, just don't, don't be afraid, because if you get it early on, you definitely can beat it. Uh, I'm sitting right here, and I'm, you know, the, really the perfect example of that. And um, I'm, you know, I'm so ready always to put myself out there and show um, most of the ladies what uh, I went through and make them understand that everything they're feeling, I did go through and I understand. And I'm so lucky, really, to be here today, alive and uh, be able to have a voice. And uh, you know, maybe I won't touch every every person's. Uh, uh, journey, but if I can do it uh, at least, uh, you know, for a small number, I'm so happy I can do that. And yeah, 